Yeah, uh, when we have a uh, hundred percent in of asset one and zero percent of asset two is one point five, which is the variance associated with asset one, and the expected return is three percent. So let me just take this here now and let's just drag it down. Okay, so dragging it down, we have all of these particular all of these particular variances here. Okay. Uh, now to do the efficient frontier, well, what we're going to do is we're going to plot the variances against the expected values. So I'm going to just highlight the variances and also the expected values, and I'm going to say insert. So I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to insert a scatter plot. Okay. So let's just insert a scatter plot, and what I get is something that looks like this. Okay, which is that classic, uh, which is that classic shape. Let me just move this across here. Let's delete this over here. Okay, it just gives a bit more space, which is that classic shape of the efficient frontier. Now we could have done more values, okay, uh, which which would have allowed us to actually develop this particular curve a little bit. Okay, but based off our efficient frontier and based off our portfolio theory and the stuff that we've covered in previous videos, uh, well, variance is listed along here. Let me actually just double click on this chart. Okay. Okay. And let me just see, can I give some, I'm just going to hear shadows, no. Okay, size properties, okay, size, no, 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 okay, that's all good. I'll just leave that as is, okay. Uh, so this axis along here, okay, this axis along here is the variance axis, and this axis along here is the expected value axis. Can I not insert, how do I insert here? The format the chart area. Okay, let's format the chart area. Okay, text options. How do I insert my? Doesn't allow me to do that here. Okay, which is insert. Let's say a label here for this axis and a label here for this axis. And uh, maybe it's the format, is it? No. Chart design. Let's just have a look. See what we have. Have we got any chart designs? No, we don't have any to have. To have labels uh sure look here maybe you can have a look at that years ourselves yeah but let me the 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 portfolio that has the minimum variance seems to be here okay uh which actually is which is actually this portfolio here okay now the reason why this is coming out like this is because of the correlation that we've actually set here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to change the correlation let's change the correlation value let's say to 0 0.2 Okay. Changing the correlation value to 0 0.2, okay, you can actually see that the efficient frontier has now changed. Yeah, that the, the portfolio that has the minimum variance is this portfolio right. This portfolio right here, you can see it's actually highlighted there, and its return is in here somewhere. So let me just highlight that value here. So the one that has the minimum variance has a variance of 3.2 and has a return. So it has a variance of 1.34 and has a return of 3.2. So we have 1.34. Which is which is here, okay, and a return of three of three point two, which is here, okay. So that's the variance. That is the portfolio. Actually, here's a better. Maybe it's this one here. Okay, this is has a variance of one point two and a return of three point four. That's actually the one I'm looking for, okay. Which is that one there? Am I pointing on the right point? Okay. Something to be, oh, there it is. There, yeah, that's the point. There, it's 1.28 and 3.4. So, in this case, here, this out of all of these returns, this is the one that has the smallest variance, okay? And it has for the smallest variance, it has the, the largest return. Let's change this to let's say uh, minus 0 .0 0 0.8 and see how we get on. You can actually see what's happening here is when they're negatively correlated, the, the actual variance is actually is actually decreasing for the minimum front for the for the uh, the most optimum portfolio. So what we actually have is this data point here, which is 0 0.2 and 3.8. So 0 0.24 here is the least variance. In this list, it's the smallest variance, and the expected return at that particular level is 3.8. Actually, let's put in a minus, minus 1, which is a perfect negative correlation. And actually, you can actually see that we've actually reduced the variance of the portfolio down to 0. Okay, So, well, effectively 0, very close to 0. It's this The smallest variance is 0 0.007 with a return of 3.8. Okay? So, I mean, this is... 
this is a classic uh, situation where we have a negative correlation and what we're actually doing is we're actually hedging yeah okay? as one stock increases the other stock goes down uh, as the other stock uh, goes down the other stock increases that's what this correlation actually here represents okay so guys this was a this was a, a a pretty quick video in relation to how to generate the efficient frontier in excel and uh, my next video will actually okay how do we do all of this by hand and more importantly i suppose the next video will have a look at looking at specific values actually maybe what we'll do is we'll do that now okay so let's say that we have let's say for well i actually know i'll leave it for a, a, another video what we'll do is we'll do it by hand in another video where we calculate the expected return and the variances of of two of two assets and we calculate the correlation and what we do is we'll construct by hand this efficient frontier which allow us to identify the portfolio that has the minimum variance and uh, but gives us the maximum gives us the maximum return at that minimum variance level Okay, guys, uh, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope that this video was in some way intuitive. And uh, more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.